another blow yesterday to you in an ambush outside the list. Three terrorists were shot dead. Good morning, Monsieur Chevel. German financial regulations, Monsieur Chevelle. Some mistake. Back in charge here. 
There's been some mistake. I'm a lawyer. I want to see Don't someone in charge. I demand to speak to that officer. Ah! Ah. Hey, Breton, what time is it? 8.50. 40. It's 8.40. It's pretty, <coughs> your antique, but it doesn't keep good time anymore. It's 8.40. You ought to know by now a piece of rubbish of a market stall is bound to slow down. Not made to last. 8.50. Ran into some trouble? <laughs> well, yes. Who... <sighs> Who's in charge? I need to talk to someone. Save your breath. But I've done nothing. There's no reason for me to be here. There's no reason any of us should be here. What's the matter with you? Don't tell me you don't know what's going on. Every now and then, they run out and they grab a few people off the street. Then they keep us in cold storage, till needed. It's very simple. Any resistance, sabotage, trouble, the Germans shoot a few hostages to restore law and order. Then they... Round up a few more. They seem to think that it works quite well. <laughs> there must be some way. Let's see. Do you know anyone useful? Hmm? Hauptfuhrer? No. Even a colonel could help. Nothing going on? So far. This is where they do it. They march down the yard and round the back, and then you hear the shots. I must be the only professional man in here. Lorry driver, shop assistant, tobacconist, laborers. Michel Mongeau calls himself a clerk. He was unemployed when they picked him up. I myself was mayor of Bourges, but I don't think that three covers sash would look its best with this. There must be something we can do. Even here, the law exists to protect the innocent. My son wouldn't agree with you. He believes money pressed into the right palm always does the trick. Everyone back inside! Time for slops. Out! If only I could let someone know, just make contact. My son probably thinks I'm dead. He'll sold the family silver by now. Move on! local shooting gallery. You ever kill a man? No. No, I've never killed anyone. I've never faced a man with a gun either. Move on! Your socks and raise your
please you. Two buttons and a shoelace. I'm in for two cigarettes. You got two cigarettes? And I'll raise you my waistcoat. <coughs> I see that. Full house. Threes and nines. That's me finished. I'm hanging on to my trousers. Me sure. too. Four ten. I win. Seems calm. Generally is. Early on. Yes. Were you here when they shot the others? Yes. I do it in the morning. Oh. Seven o'clock. You saw the place? Oh, yes. Wooden posts and uh, stone wall. It's not much of a wall now. Bullet holes all over it. Mm. Terrible. All chipped. They must be lousy shots. Good enough, though. I've never really been out of Paris. Fontainebleau. I went there one summer. For the day. Yes. With my mother and my sister. It was nice. I'd like to have traveled a bit. I suppose you've been all over. Mm -hmm. No, not really. Just in the army, but I didn't get any further than the barracks at Marseille. <laughs> they wouldn't take me. I don't want to go anywhere again, just back to saint jean de Brignac, back to my home. It's about, uh, it's about um, an hour outside Paris. Nice place, is it? Yeah. I bet you've got a real mansion. Hmm. Funny old place, really. The staircase, you know. Gee, well, I could uh, do your drawing of this pad, if you like. Oh, there. It's your house, not mine. My father owned it like his father before him. Yeah. May retire there one day. Ah. What was your father's job? Hmm? He was a lawyer, like his father, before him. I suppose it's all right. Seems a bit dusty to me. Oh. You can rely on the law. It's not like family or friends. The law never lets you down. Unless you're on the wrong side of it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said it was too early for trouble. Seven. Your piece of junk is fast. Look out. I have an announcement. There were outrages committed in the city last night. The second in command to the military governor was murdered. Also a girl on a bicycle. We do not complain about the girl. Frenchmen have our permission to kill French women if they wish to. Do not blame us for the consequences. Blame your own so-called resistance. My orders are that in this prison, one man in every ten is to be shot. You are 30. Your contribution then is three. We are quite indifferent as to which three. This time, choose for yourselves. The execution will take place at seven tomorrow morning. Well, what do we do? Volunteer? We could draw lots. Unless it's felt we should go by age, oldest first. That wouldn't be right. We've lived our life. It's the way of nature. Not always. We'll draw lots. Surely that's the fairest way. 
So how do we do it? Flip a coin? We can't get an even chance with a coin. The only way is a draw. You can use this letter. The backs are blank. But why three lives for one? It's not fair. I don't go along with that. We, we, we must uh, demand to see a superior officer. You can see which of the marked ones. We need a shoe or something to put them in. Krogh's got the biggest feet. <coughs> Who's going to go first? Alphabetical order. Going backwards. Well, you would say that, wouldn't you, Persia? For God's sake! Do we have to squabble over this? OK. Nobody here before V? Nobody? Okay. Here goes. That's it. Tough luck on Boisin, but it's improved the odds. Who's next? U, T, S. The hell with this nonsense! What's the difference? We've all got to take a slip. Let's get on with it. Two. Ha. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Who's the tenth man? Maju, you next. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. May I join you? 23, 24, 25. Six, seven. You looked. I did not look. He didn't. He didn't. <sighs> Come and sit with us, Monsieur Chauvel. I didn't agree to this draw. Come and sit down. You can't do anything about it. But why? Uh, <laughs> I'm an innocent man. Look at it this way, Mr. Chevelle. If it's not now, it's another time. None of us live forever. You can't make me do this! Well, it's not up to us, is it? You can't make me do this! I'll give a hundred thousand francs to anyone who will take this. A uh, hundred thousand francs. Please. A hundred thousand. Please. Please. A hundred thousand francs. So I'll give a hundred thousand francs, please. No one's going to give his life for money he'll never enjoy. It's obvious. I'll give you everything I've got. I land my house, everything. Please. Nobody wants to die. Rich or poor. So just shut up! Tell me more. <clears throat> Maybe I'll take your offer. A hundred thousand francs. My land, my house, everything I've got. How rich are you? Don't laugh at him. I'm not laughing, I'm doing a deal. You'll take my place. I'll take your place. What's the good of all his money when you're dead? 
I have a mother and a sister. I can make a will. I don't like this. We can't buy our lives. Why should he? If you've got the money, you can do what you like. Buy another man's life? Why not? It's not fair. Fair? Why isn't it fair to let me do what I want? I'm going to die a rich man. Anyone who thinks it isn't fair can rot in hell. <coughs> Come here, sit down. How much money is there? Uh, 300,000 francs, approximately. Approximately? Yes. Well, wow. and the place? The orchards, the uh, farmland. And the what house. about Paris? No, the office is rented. Any family? No, 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 no. Right. You're a lawyer? Yes. You've got to draw everything up properly. Yes. Make me out, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, it's a deed of gift. That's right. Make it out to me. Michel Monjou. Michel, bonjour. I, Jean Louis Chavel. Sergeant de Binac. If all stocks and chairs, all money to account, all furniture, and the contents of Sergeant de Binac and the freehold of said property. I need uh, two witnesses. No, not you. What living men as witnesses? Perhaps you could. Here's my pen. It's a very odd document. I'll give it here. I'll sign. You better have somebody respectable. This thing is to be taken seriously. Right. Now my will. To my mother and sister equally. Want something to show the neighbours what sort of man I was? You keep the documents. They'll probably let you send them off when they finish with me. <coughs> A rich man. Always knew I'd be rich one day. Bedrooms and my study, kitchen. Tell me about the kitchen. The housekeeper didn't seem to complain. Where's she? I don't know. Uh, maybe she left. Shut everything up. Garden? Oh, yes. There's a fountain and uh, some roses. Do I grow vegetables? I, uh, some fruit, uh, apples and plums, and there's a... Uh, There's a beautiful walnut tree. Walnut tree? Yeah. How old is the house? It was built in 1780. Pity. <coughs> my, my mother has trouble with her lungs. Oh. I'd like something modern. Yeah. 
out of my mind. Look, we'll call the whole thing off. Look, I don't want this anymore. Waiting in line for the bucket latrine, eating slops, coughing my guts up day after day. Then, if I'm lucky, back on the streets. I'm going out in style. Your style. Marshal, listen to me. I won't let you do it. I don't want to die. God knows I don't want to die. But I can't. You've got a family. Yes. And in my family, when we say we're going to do something, we do it. It's too late. We did a deal. Six minutes to seven. Four minutes past. Come on! find anyone there. They closed down years ago.
nice ring. Thank you. Thank you. Why does every passing tram have to ring this bell? Sorry. It's all right. I suppose you're looking for food. I don't want much. Haven't much in the house. Where are you from? I was in Paris, but, but there's no work, so I thought I'd head south. Don't bring in the dirt. I've been scrubbing that step. I'll take my shoes off. some food in the kitchen. Oh. <laughs> which, which way do I go? Where's... Where's what? <gasps> your mother. Uh... <gasps> Who's your mother? How do you know about my mother? Well, your brother told me. You knew Michelle? Yes. When? Were you with them in prison? Yes. Therese! <laughs> Don't say anything about it. My mother doesn't know. About his death? About the other business. She thinks he made a fortune and died a hero. What's your name? Uh, Jean Perret. Did you know him? The other one? Oh, yes, I knew. Therese, who is this? Somebody who knew Michelle. You knew Michelle? Yes. He said I should look you up uh, if... Uh, well, we all said that kind of thing. He was a wonderful boy. He bought all this for his old mother. Silly boy. I was okay where I was. We had three nice little rooms in Cliché, cosy. Here, you're cut off from the world. It's too much for an old woman and a girl. I thought he left enough so that you'd be comfortable. There's things that money can't buy these days. He's hungry. Now give him some food, then. If he wants food, why doesn't he ask for food? Think he was a beggar. I'm not begging. I, I can pay for food. I've... I have a few francs. You shouldn't be so free with your money. That won't get you anywhere. Look at those socks. 
There's some bread and cheese. Huh? <laughs> Tell me about him. Michel? Well, everybody likes him. Even I didn't mean Michel. I mean the other one. The man who was. Chevelle. I looked at that name on the documents. Jean-Louis Chavel. I've got a funny feeling he'll be back here because he won't be able to resist seeing what's happened to his beautiful house. We're always getting strangers like you knocking at the door, hungry, looking for a meal. But every time that bell starts to jangle, I think to myself, maybe this time that's him. It was. I'd spit in his face. That's the first thing I'd do. And then I'd kill him. If it wasn't for her, I'd just set light to the place. What a fool Michel was. Did he really think I'd rather have this than him? Half of me is dead. The night they shot him, I felt the pain. I sat up in bed and I felt this pain. It wasn't at night, it was in the morning. Not in the night? No. Well, what did it mean then, that pain I felt that night? Nothing. It's often the way. We think there's a meaning, but then we find the facts are wrong. You wake up with a pain and uh, you think, but uh, things don't fit. You haven't told me what Chevelle looks like. There was nothing special about him. He was just an ordinary man, like the rest of us. Ordinary? Yes. You know, we are taught to forgive our enemies. I can't forgive. And one day I know I'll see his face. Uh, I think I should be going. Where are you going? What did you do before? Uh, I was in the civil service, nothing special. Uh, Ministry of Education. Don't you have any family? No. Well, we could do with some help. This place takes a lot of cleaning. And then there's the garden. Oh, I don't think I... Beneath you, is it that sort of work? No, no. Well, there wouldn't be any problem with wages. We're rich. No. Yes, I think I could stay for a while. I'll get you some socks. You won't miss them. There's plenty to do, as you can see, but the main thing I'll be paying you for to keep an eye out for him. I don't know what he looks like. You do. Sleep in here. It's the maid's room. I suppose so. Not much of a room, is it? You should see his. I can't bear to go in there. It's only a room. It's full of him. The smell of his cologne. And the polish of his fine shoes. There was a bowl of potpourri on the chest. I wonder who put that there. His mother. Well, probably.
What are you doing? I nearly fell over it. I thought I'd clean it up. It's a dust trap. That fancy carving. Still, it's a nice frame. Maybe you'd like to hang it somewhere. Would you like that? Why not? Uh-huh. Um, yeah. Is that what it went? Very good, yes, that's where it went. I'm going to market tomorrow. Is there anything you want? A razor? Shave that beard off. See what you look like. No. I like my beard. a cart from the village. It's a long walk carrying all that. I can't ask them in the village. That's his territory. We never had much to do with them. How do you know? I heard him telling your brother. He said the people here never felt at ease with him. What a surprise. Well, maybe he said uh, he never had much to do with them. You see, as he grew up, he grew away from them. Or so he said. They seem to have talked a good deal. Yes. I think Michel felt he was living his whole life th that night. Tell me about my house, he said. My garden. Hm. Why are you bothering with those bushes? They're raspberries and red currants. Yeah, they're almost ripe. It's crazy buying all that stuff from the market. If we clear this vegetable garden, we could grow all... You could grow all you need. Making yourself at home, aren't you? Sitting here. Stuck in the kitchen. What's the point of being rich? You should have real servants. Not tramps who come in off the road. Do they need salt? No, it's fine. Stuck. Can't even get to mass. Why not? It's too far. Even climbing the stairs is like climbing a mountain for me. Some days I just can't face it. Once, on the 14th of July, I was dancing in the streets. I danced all night. Eight o'clock the next day, we opened up the shop and I worked in it all day and I didn't even feel tired. Your father used to say that I was like a butterfly. Oh, we could help you. You could lean on us. We'll see. Nothing to say to God anymore. <laughs> Mother wanted to know why I didn't go to church anymore. I told her I'd lost my faith. But it's the hate that keeps me away. I can't drop my hate at the church door and pick it up an hour later on the way out goes on and on, all day and all night. That's all there is. Couldn't you try going out once in a while? No, see something new. 
people like us don't do that sort of thing. Oh, we did go to Fontainebleau once with Michelle. That was a lovely day. Mother likes to pretend, but we were as poor as hell. Chevelle made a good living. He must be a pretty hard, calculating sort of person. Why do you say that? Well, you don't become a rich lawyer by accident. You know, he inherited that law practice. All he ever wanted to do was hurry back to his house and his garden. Just like a failure. Afraid of being found out. Sound as though you hate him too. No. No. No, I despise him just for what he did. Hey, let's go here. This way. His parents. Both died the same year. Where did you get those? Hmm? They make you look like an old man. We found them in the market. At least I won't be fobbed off with rotten fruit now. You can see what I'm doing. Uh, it was a bit thin in the market this morning. Thought we'd get a rabbit or something. Mm. Anyway, here's your change. And the list. I'd better check it. Well, I trust you. Your mother doesn't. Yeah. Strange, your writing looks familiar. It's very ordinary writing. Uh, it's quite characterless. Mm, strange. It's like that feeling you get when you think you've been somewhere before. Oh, well. Could you put the change in the drawer?
I'm sorry, I, uh, I couldn't sleep, so I came down to give myself some water, and I heard, I thought I heard a noise, a bird or something falling down the chimney, or maybe it was a rat. There hasn't been a rat in here for three years. Why didn't you clear all this stuff out? Couldn't bear to touch it. But you can have anything you like if it fits you. Silly to leave it all rotting here. Poor thing. Imagine being the mother of a monster like that. You know, there was a point that night when uh, he tried to call the whole thing off. He didn't want to go through with it. But your brother refused. Once. Really tried. He acted the coward, I agree, but... Anyone can play the card once. Many of us do, in fact, and uh, we forget about it afterwards. It's just that in his case, it was so spectacular. You mean he was unlucky? Yeah. Everyone's tested at some point. Can happen any time. And then you discover what you've been all your life. What you really are. Do you know what you are, really? No. But I will one day. And I know what he is. He's a murderer. All I want is him in front of me and me with a gun. I suppose afterwards you'll go to confession and then you'll feel happy again. No. But perhaps I wouldn't feel so tired and old and afraid of people. I could stop living. I'll get you some water. There's no need for that. Can't sleep anyway. You tired? Want to live? No, thank you. You're Mademoiselle Mongeau, aren't you? My name is Roche. This is Monsieur Perret. Seen you in the market. He's giving us some help. You want to be careful. A lot of strangers about these days. Funny people. He's a friend. You haven't got much to say for yourself. Maybe I should have a look at your papers. You sound like a policeman. It's my business to keep an eye on things. Left over from resistance days. The war's over. Don't you believe it? It's just beginning. Collaborators creeping out from their little nests. He was locked up by the Germans and he knew my brother. And you knew Chavel? Yeah. You two must have been friends. <laughs> when we were kids. Later, well, he was from the big house. My family are just farmers. What was he like? Chavel. He kept himself to himself. Afraid of the girls. Scared of taking risks. Why don't they like us in the village? It's not that they don't like you. They just didn't believe your story. They couldn't believe a man would die for money. They thought the Germans must be mixed up in it. He did it for you, of course. You won't have any more trouble. I'll have a word. We're having a bit of a celebration on Sunday. Start of the hunting season. They'll be dancing. Why don't you come along? Maybe. Go on. Do you like an aperitif? Oh, no. Oh, I didn't do that in Paris. I couldn't afford to. Oh, well, a glass of wine. I can afford it. I'm paid with a fair wage now. Thank you. Really strange sitting here like a lady of leisure. Do you ever think about the future? What you'll do? I mean, uh, you'll want to get married one day. Well, there's not much to choose from around here. 
There's Roche, the great resistance hero. And then there's you, of course. Ah, yes. No. You'll be off. Back to your own sort. Find a job and a girl works in the civil service. Knows about things. I'd like to stay here. Maybe we should go to that dance Roche mentioned, hmm? No, I'm not too keen on that sort of thing. You go. I wouldn't go on my own. It would be nice. Gone to bed. They seem friendly. Maybe they don't hate us. Of course they don't hate you. Well, good night. You don't have to use the back stairs, you know. You're not a servant. dining room tonight. There's no need to behave like gypsies. This is our house, isn't it? You need cleaning out first. I'll do it.
Look. His whole life's in here. Him in his cradle. The christening. That old priest's still in the village. And here is Jean-Louis at his first communion. Huh. Priest again. He called on us once. Let us know Chevelle used to have him here for dinner at Christmas. Mother soon let him know there wouldn't be any more grand dinners. What a bunch. Mean, hard eyes. No wonder he turned out the way he did. Can you imagine them doing something human, like dancing or kissing? Can you imagine them in love? How would they show they love someone? Oh, I suppose they uh, expressed it just like you. I suppose that's your admirer, Roche, come to pay his respects. Well, open up or Mother will start yelling. Yes. Who is it? Jean-Louis Chabelle. Oh! Chabelle, would you mind opening the door? It's very wet out here. Who is it? Chavel. I'm, I'm sorry, can't you hear me? He says this is Jean-Louis Chavel. Please. Let him in. Apologize for uh, breaking in on you like this. What do you want? Uh, sh sh shelter, something to eat. You're Chavel? Jean Louis Chavel? Yes, I'm Chavel. I always knew you'd come one day. I hope you'll allow me to. <laughs> I think you'd uh, better go. I can't. They're looking for me. Young men with guns who like to call themselves the resistance. Why? Oh, this is a great time for settling old scores. Anyone who uh, has an enemy can find himself labelled a collaborator. But you have the perfect answer. You were in a German prison, condemned to death. Well, they're saying that I was put there as an informer. It was wrong of me to come here, but uh, a hunted animal always heads for the place it knows as home. I'm sorry, I'll uh, leave. Yes. You'd better go. I had another reason for coming. I had um, a message for Mademoiselle Mongeau from her brother. Message? I'm sorry, monsieur. You, you are... You should know who he is. You were in the same prison. I'm Jean Perret. Of course. Yeah, I thought I recognized your face. Is this Chevelle? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's your own. Oh, I shouldn't have come back. I'm... Oh, please forgive this intrusion. Uh, forgive. You said you had a message from my brother. Uh, he wanted you uh, to know that he uh, loved you. Uh, he thought this was the best thing he could do for you. I'm sorry, Mademoiselle. I, I should have realized I, uh... 
I should have known that this door would no longer be open to me. You don't have to go. I wouldn't turn a dog out in this rain. You can stay. It's not long to wait till morning. You are very kind. You need dry clothes. You'll find everything in your room, just as you left it. I, I wouldn't presume. I, it's not my room anymore. Please. Who's there? What's all this noise? My mother's not well. I'm not telling her who you are. She couldn't take the shock. Who's this? Someone who knew Michelle. Another one wanting a free meal and a handout. I wonder that my son managed to hold on to any of his money at all. I said he could stay tonight. He's got nowhere to sleep. What's your name? Um, Tupa, madame. Uh, Philippe Tupa. You knew my son? Yes. He talked about you a lot. And you must be very proud of him. I'm starving. Will you come with me, monsieur? We have a lot to talk about. What are you doing here? Look, I don't know what's going on here. All I want is uh, a night shelter. No trouble. I was um, on my way to Switzerland. I uh, got myself into something uh, rather messy involving the uh, police. I thought it wise to lie low for a couple of days. see your watch a moment. There was a man in prison with me who had a watch like this. His name was uh, Breton. You, you're the son he talked about. Yeah, I had to pull uh, quite a few strings. Use friends in high places to get him out of that prison. Don't you think he'd be grateful when he found out? He threatened to uh, kick me out of the house. Called me a collaborator. <laughs> then he went and had a heart attack. What brought you here? Well, I uh, remembered a story that he'd uh, told us about a man who was in prison with him, um, who bought his life. Well, I mean, you know who you were there. I thought it was worth a try. Mother's not well. She's having her soup in her room. Monsieur Chavel. Oh, no, no. I wouldn't dream of it. found everything. In perfect order. Fresh, dry clothes. I am deeply grateful. You're, you're from uh, Paris uh, yourself, uh, Mademoiselle Mongeau. Uh, isn't that right? My parents are from Normandy, but we were born in Paris. My brother and I have forgotten the bread. What makes you think you can get away with this? Well, I reckon Chevelle would never have the nerve to come home. I uh, decided to do it for him. <laughs> Everyone in the village will know that you're not Chevelle. I had to risk it just for the night. I must say, I like the man's style.
the best soup I've ever tasted. What's your game? And why are you going along with my story? To help her. She got it into her head that Chevelle would show up one day. It became an obsession with her. So I thought this would uh, cure it. She could uh, start living. Mm. Well, you know, I think I was a bit hasty saying I'd leave in the morning. I caught a look in her eyes. Aren't you forgetting she hates Chevelle? Ah, but I'm not Chevelle. Not the real Chevelle. I'm just the Chevelle she's invented for herself, not the dull reality. The ideal. She spat in your face. I saw a play um, in Paris once by Shakespeare uh, where the same thing happened. Um, a king had murdered some woman's husband and he was practically lifting her skirt. The actor wiped his face with his sleeve. I remember the way he did it. It worked rather well, I thought. You should have been an actor. Well, when you're living off your wits, you learn to be different things to different people. Perhaps I could learn to be uh, Jean-Louis Chabelle. I won't get the chance. You'll be gone by sunrise. I'll make you. Of course, all this must be rather a blow to you. What do you mean? Well, anyone can, with half an eye can see that uh, you're in love with her yourself. You must be mad. No, it's perfectly reasonable. I mean, here you are, a man who's been locked up in prison for three years. You suddenly find yourself with a young girl. Oh, pretty enough, but uh, not quite your class. It must be like being shipwrecked on a desert island. Oh, you should have got in there, made a play for her tonight. Didn't you sense the emotion that was in the air? Oh, thanks to me. Oh, God, I'm tired. So tired. Will you uh, turn out that light, please? Mother had an attack in the night. She 
He's very bad. What do you call me? Wouldn't have helped. She wants the priest. I said everyone was tested. Sooner or later, everyone. And then you know what you are. I am a coward, just like him. We're one of a kind. When it came to it, I didn't pass the test either. Why are you tormenting yourself? I should have shot him. Always said I would. You can't give a man shelter, walk away, find a gun, and then shoot him in cold blood. Why not? He did to Michelle as good as. Ah, uh, you needn't think about Chevelle any longer. He's gone. When? Earlier this morning. I wouldn't have expected. You told him to go. Michelle's really dead now. Therese. You've been so kind to me, to us. So understanding. I don't know how I'd have managed on my own. Could you fetch the priest? Yes, of course. I wonder where Chevelle will go. In Switzerland, probably. When I went into Mother, she was frightened. She wanted me to pray for her. I knelt there, mumbling all that stuff about forgiveness of sins. I felt terrible. You didn't seem so anxious to forgive him before you saw him. It's not so easy to hate a face, you know, as, as a face you just imagine. I'll fetch the priest. Take the shortcut over the field. Yes. Who is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Sorry to trouble you, yes, Father. Yes. It's uh, Madame Monjou. Oh, oh, yes, yes. I was expecting something of the kind. It's a uh, heart trouble, I suppose. Yes, yes. Her daughter asked yes, me to. Yes, tell me. <coughs> is it is it raining outside? No, yes. it's not. No. Good. That's good. That's good. That's good. <coughs>
I'm sorry to uh, uh, break in on you again. I got as far as the village. I heard about your mother. I'm so very sorry. Um, I hope it wasn't my presence. That... She knows nothing of you. Oh, good. I wouldn't want to add to her troubles. <clears throat> we um, talked about her that night, the night your brother died. The night? He died in the night? Oh, yes, of course, in the night. But Jean said he died in the morning, the next morning. I'm afraid he was lying. Why would he lie about that? Why? Uh, well, to make me look worse than I am, I suppose. I mean, it is worse to let a man die after a whole night to think about it. He said you tried once to call it off. Yes. I didn't have uh, another chance. They took him away. I knew it was in the night. I woke suddenly with a pain. Why did he say that it was... You don't know this man. He's a liar and a cheat. But you bought your life. There are so many things you don't understand. Your brother was a sick man. I know. Uh, he loved you very much. Uh, he worried about what would happen to you. I mean, the money, um, the Germans. We talked about that. He showed me your photograph. He didn't have a photograph of me. Uh, oh, uh, but he... Oh, I, ah, I know, I see. It was um, a picture torn out of a newspaper. A uh, street scene. A beautiful girl, half hidden in the crowd. I suppose it reminded him of you. People do funny things in prison. Then he um, asked me what I would give for his blank slip. What? He asked you? N look, I know I'm a coward. I, I took his offer. But if I'd been guilty of worse than that, do you think I would have dared to come back here and face you? I don't expect you to believe me. Why should you? Goodbye and God bless. There is just one thing that I think you should know. you'd left. I decided to stay. I had a long talk with the girl. Gave her my version of what uh, happened that night. <laughs> it's terribly unfair. But that's life, isn't it? She's very angry. She wants you to clear out right away. She's letting you stay? Well, she hadn't any choice, as a matter of fact. I told her about the uh, decree of the 17th of August. She hadn't heard about it. You hadn't either, had you? It um, makes it legal. All changes of property under the German occupation if one party disputes the deal. It's, it's true. I'm not making it up. So, as far as she's concerned, the place is mine. <laughs> Can't see you making much use of it. You're on the run. You're Breton, the collaborator. You're wanted for murder. Oh, yet yeah, yeah, you saw the posters. Well, I just have to lie low till it's safe to push on to Switzerland. Things will quieten down. Even a Day's shelter is a help in my situation. Or a week. Anyway, it's time you left. You think I'll say nothing? Oh, I would advise you not to. I wouldn't want the girl to get hurt. And as you so very rightly say, I'm already wanted for murder. So I've nothing to lose. Do you think Cheval will show up? Is he the type? Yeah, probably. He's on his way here now. Well, if the worst comes to the worst, I've got the gun, haven't I? Yes, I've got the gun. So don't get any clever ideas. I'd use it on the girl first. You won't forget that, will you? 
By the way, she's very upset about all the lies you told her. What lies? Hmm? That her brother died in the morning. Where is she? Dear, with her mother. There's no need to disturb her. Just pick up your bits and pieces and clear out. Quietly. Therese, I've got to talk to you. I don't want to hear any more lies. I know the truth now about Michelle's death. I told you the truth about that. Did you? He died in the night. I felt the pain. Therese! Listen, it didn't happen that way. Mother needs the priest. I'm sorry. I'll get him. Pater Noster, Vies in Celis, Sanctificator Nomen Tuum, Adveniat, Regnum Tuum, Fiat, Voluntas Tua, Seated in Celio et in Terra. Yes, it was an easy death, no struggle. Of course, you know that you'll have to move out of the house. You know, you understand that. In the circumstances, or she'll have to have someone come in from the village as a companion. That's for her to decide. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know, but she's very young, you know. Simple sort of person. Yeah, but she's seen quite a lot of life in Paris. She's not just a country girl. Uh -huh. One place just the same as another. It's all a question of... Observation, a uh, little wisdom. Well, I've spent 50 years in this backwater of a place. I haven't missed very much, I can tell you. Mm. Of life, I mean. And now you seem to be a man of some education. Um, are you telling me that uh, this is none of my business? What are you saying? Well, I'm talking about human nature. I mean, you can't sit day after day, as I do, listening to people, men and women telling about themselves and what they've done without getting to know something about human nature. And, uh, well, she's in a state now where she might do something foolish. She's mourning for her mother. Oh, with all these motions, they've something in common. People talk about the sorrow there is in lust. But you, but you forget that sometimes there's a little lust in sorrow, too. You wouldn't want to take advantage of that, would you, my son? Please trust me, Father. I only want what's good for her. Mm -hmm. That's good. Good, very good. Why can't you all leave me alone? You are alone. So alone. But you need never be alone again. You've hated me for so long, but it's all over now. You don't have to worry about anything ever again. I'm so tired. You can rest now, Terry. I thought I could trust Jean. But he lied to me about Michel. You can trust me because I've told you the worst. Everything there is to know. I suppose so. Therese. I didn't know you were down there. Did you see the old man home safely? I 
think it's time I told you who I am. I'm Jean-Louis Chauvel. You're mad. The man who calls himself Chauvel is a collaborator. He's also wanted by the police for murder. <laughs> He's crazy. I don't understand. So many lies, I don't know anymore who's lying. Well, he's lying. I mean, why didn't you say you recognized me when I arrived? Because I was afraid to tell you who I was. Therese, I knew you hated Chevelle. When this man came, I saw my chance to lose myself forever. He could have all of your hatred instead. Well, it's more lies. Why, why don't you just clear out? Go. What the hell are you doing? You know, I was a boy. I used to play a game with a friend across the fields. Yeah. I used to take a torch like this. What if it was a sunny day, a, a mirror, and I would flash a message. One message was a sort of joke. The Indians are attacking. It meant, come at once. He's just trying to fool us. He still lives across the field, my old friend, Roche. The resistance man. But now he'll, he goes out to his cows, so he'll see this light flashing on and off. The old code, come at once. So he'll know Chevelle is back. Do you understand? No one else would send this message. Oh, you're bluffing. He won't come. But Ross saw you on the road and at the dance. He didn't look very closely, did he? All he saw was a shabby stranger. But this message will tell him I'm back. Drop that torch. Good, tell him to drop the torch. All right, fire. Drop the torch! You really are Chevelle? Yes. But that was another lie about the message. I watched you. You never flashed the same way twice. It's the last lie, Therese. I promise you. I had to get him to shoot. He won't come back now. But he'd get away. No. Ross and the others will pick him up. You're safe now. Ah. Uh. Therese. Therese, listen to me. There's an envelope in my room on my table. Get it, you may need it, it'll help you. In it. Gently. I've written my will. Yes. Everything. The house, everything is yours. Does that matter now? Listen to me. The decree. Take the will to Roche. He'll help you. Go. Therese. The hatred. Has it all gone? That's good. That's good. 